Welcome back, Mr. Buzz here. I'm doing my alternate ending series where I test the fences and use the artifact in the forest. I take on cannibals and mutants after building a little defensive structure, and afterwards, yeah, we get to use the artifact. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm beginning this video here where I'm going to pick a spot that I can build in I'm going to use my last stick of dynamite to try and blow up some trees to make it easier to get the wood get the logs that I need right now I'm looking for the biggest bang for my buck I want to hit a cluster of trees with my last dynamite so I don't have to waste it Alright, this is a good group here. And I'm not sure if that was very good placement, but anyway, it'll do. Can't take it back now. And look at that. That was awesome. I'll mention here, I had my microphone on when I was recording this initially, but I wasn't saying anything, so you get a bit of background noise. But eventually I do mute that and that disappears. But currently I am voicing over a bit to sort of assist things. I've also sped this footage up of me cutting down the trees because I'm sure you don't want to see me cut down a whole bunch of trees. I've got my logs, I've got my location, and I've got an idea in my head where I want to use uh, the defensive spikes and deadfall traps in a combination and currently sort of planning to do that in my multiplayer game that I'm doing with my mates and I sort of want to test out some ideas so this end of the defensive structure that I'm going to do I'm going to put the two defensive spikes next to each other and then in between that have two deadfall traps sort of in combination so because I found a cannibal might run underneath a deadfall trap and it won't get hit by it but the second one might actually catch him so that's what I was looking for and then also here I decide a bit more overkill I'll just put two, two more on the end so I've got one either end here and there You've got to be careful where you place these because you do need access to a certain part of the trap to reset it. I've also reinforced the defensive spikes by putting in small rock walls there. I'm happy with that end. And thanks, Buzz, for checking out my book. And I'm going to put in my defensive walls along here. I just wanted to put two straight lines, pretty well, make it a little rectangle almost. My initial idea was just to be testing two ends of the defense. Um, and it is hard to do that kind of thing because the cannibals don't really follow what you want them to do. They do whatever they want to do. I'm going to put a gate on either side as well. I've been trying to work out the configuration for the buttons on the PlayStation because it's just been released and I haven't played it enough so I don't think I'll go into what the buttons are. Um, I'm sure if you get experience with building you'll learn pretty quick. So this end I'm putting the defensive spikes up again, but I'm putting the deadfall traps in between the defensive spikes rather than deadfall traps in between defensive spikes. So. The opposite way, I've got less traps up this end, but that's pretty good. That's my blueprint for my defensive wall.
And I've got my thick holder here, and I'll make it a big one. And I don't think I'll put one up that end. Uh, I'll just leave it one end. And right on cue, you get a visit from, from some cannibals. Go away, guys, I haven't finished building yet. Well, I'm still being bothered by these guys, and I'm not the greatest shot with the bow. I get some lucky headshots here and there, but... There we go. Try and get these cannibals out of the way while I'm building. Get these logs, start building. I'll skip over the building process because the main thing is the delivery prints and how it works. And these are the guys, these are the guys who interrupted me while I was trying to build this. Ooh, feathers. Um, and they deserve that. So. I've made enough bone armor and I can't carry any more. I don't think I can, so I'm just going to make a bone chair here in the middle. If you've seen any of the previous ones in this series, it's a little thing I guess. I'm going to make a bone chair because you end up with a lot of bones because you end up with a lot of cannibals to burn. So, uh, that's pretty cool. I've got um, this end here. I've got an issue. I can't get to that trap, the one on my right there, now on the left, the middle one, I can't get in to reset it, so if it goes off, I can't reset it, I can get into this one, as you can see, um, but I can't get the other one, so here, I decided I'm going to reinforce the defensive walls by putting the spikes on the outside, um, it's really good, it does strengthen your def defensive walls, makes them quicker to repair if they are getting heavily attacked by mutants and cannibals. It takes a while to do that because you need a lot of sticks and a lot of rocks actually. You need a lot of rocks. And there. This little campsite is near me, I decided to use it to save and here we are, I've got some visitors I'm not talking about the deer, I've got some mutants there, there's an army and a legsy, come on boys and girls wherever you are I want to get them in the traps and see how they work see if this is enough, like if they're strong enough Come on, Let's get inside, get inside. And they followed me to the gate. Come towards the traps. Now they're trying to jump over. Uh, it's not taking a lot to repair those ones. And there's two mutants attacking them. That's pretty good. But I don't want them attacking the wall, I want them getting stuck in the traps. I'll come around the other side and see if I can lead them in to the trap. If I can't, like I don't really want them destroying that wall either. I might have to just take them down if they're not going to go into my trap. Rethink this little design here. I'll take you down. See if I can get this guy to come at me. Nope. 
<laughs> Got him in the butt. Take that. And another one. Two shots in the butt and he's dead. Mm -hmm. And that guy is just practicing his uh, rounds. Doing his rounds for the day. Inside. I don't want a headshot. I don't kill him, so. Hey, come back. Mm. Uh, I think so. Well, they took heavy. They took a lot of damage. No, like they were. Resistant to a lot of damage. That was good. Those defensive spikes are very good. Well worth it. And I have no idea where that guy went. So I've still yet to test the deadfall trap and defensive spike setup. But that stood up pretty well. I think here I wasn't expecting them to come around the side and I probably should have been expecting them. I'm gonna put happy birthday traps and I wanna leave a gap in between so I can still get into my gate. Uh, so put that as close as I can. I'm gonna put it straight up like that. There's a bit of gap in between. The second one on this side. And of course, there's a tree stump in the way. If you crouch down, it's a lot easier to take out those tree stumps. Here's a little tip for you. Right, so, just finishing off these happy birthday traps on the outside. I think I need sticks for that one. And I'm going to put two on this side as well because I'm guessing that the cannibals and mutants will come from both sides. And typically they'll probably come in the directions that I don't want them to come in. So better off being prepared. I've got visitors here and I'm trying to lead them now up to my defensive structure. Leave that bug behind. See if they followed me. And we've got a couple of guys there climbing tree. The fire guys in the tree. Got him. He jumps over the happy birthday trap. That was an accidental headshot. I actually meant to shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. We got a chick down there running around trees. Another one running around another tree. I really do hate when the cannibals seem to uh, sort of glitch out and they just run around in circles and don't come at you. And then once they get out of that, they run away. Anyway, pile these guys up. And where's that other one? There she is. She just jumped out of a tree. Woo! Yeah. So, in single player, you can light your weapon on fire and hit the corpses and they get set on fire and they give you bones, but it doesn't always work in multiplayer. I think just another bug of the game, I guess, another glitch. Um, but yeah. I need skulls and bones for lights and chairs. And armor.
I'm just collecting some extra sticks here. I'll put them in the basket that I've got inside. I need to light this place up a bit more. Get these bones. Finish off this chair inside. I'll grab the rest of the bones and I'll make whatever armor I can. So that that protects me. So, there's my defensive structure. And give a quick little tour. You've got gates on either side, you've got happy birthday traps set up, you can stand behind and reset those as the cannibals come in and mutants. And you come inside and hopefully don't get too many wildlife inside. What you do, you just take them down with the spear. Uh, up this end, I've got my stick basket and two traps set up with the three defensive spikes. Uh, I think this was my initial plan. Uh, so I put my effigy here. And when I started building, I decided to make the other end different. So this was my secondary plan by having two next to each other and then separated again. So that's pretty good. There's my chair in the middle. I get to watch the carnage. Although you can't see over the fence. If I come out this side, you can see I've got the happy birthday traps on this side as well. I'll maybe put that one a bit close. Maybe not. I don't know. Leave enough gap to get behind them. And I'll take this there. Put his head up on the wall. And now, we kind of play the waiting game. I want to test this with just some normal attacks. And then I will be pulling out the artifact and getting some guys. So here we have a nice blue Virginia. Legsy. I don't know, is this one a Virginia or a Legsy? It's a blue one. Get in there. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Birdie! Can you tell me where the mutant went, little birdie? Ah, there it is. Got him. Come on, come on. I'm stuck in a circle. Alright, so, so you try to test your defenses and the enemy does this. And they just walk around and around and around in circles and you can't really test things. Uh, come on. Ah. Close the gate. No. Okay. <laughs> Close it now. No. Can I get that? Outside. Whoa, where'd you come from? Take that. Get back inside, I don't want to be hit by him again. Whoa, there he is. And... I think he's dead now from that trap for some reason. And uh, this one's not going outside. down on the inside. Take it down from the inside. Hey. Come on. Oh, she jumped over the trap. That's happy birthday traps. So easy for the cannibals to jump over that arrow went over the gate. Yeah. Nice shot. Alright, my first cow man. Head up on the wall. Reset these traps and I can't get to that one. So if I can get to this one, I can reset this one. I can't even like scooch down and 
get that one. I can't get it from that side either, so can't jump over the top. I'll reset this trap and then head on on the outside. Take my anger out on a little bush, but I have to reset this trap from the outside, so that's a bit of a design flaw, and if you're going to build a similar thing, you just just be careful of your placement, I guess. So, I've come back and I've decided I wanted to have a bit of a tower, a bit of a top view down. So on the outside, on a tree, I put a platform. And right in the middle, I put another little platform. I went and I cut down some more tree. And I put that all together. I just need to put two more logs on. So this, essentially, will allow me access not only from the outside in, if somebody's attacking or whatever, but I can get some good sort of visuals from up the top and see where things are attacking and what's going on. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. I will attach a rope to the side so that I can also get up from the inside. That's a climbing rope. Attach that to the anchor and away you go. Now, here is the artifact. I'm flicking it onto red, which will attract mutants and cannibals, hopefully. And I'll place it down at the base of this platform. And I'm sitting, wait, I guess, play the waiting game, as they say. And I don't have to wait very long before traps start going off. No, you're not very happy? Yeah, kill your buddy? Ooh, killed your chief. Well, there you go. That's two down already. Somebody, I put a noose trap over there too, by the way. He's out of it already. Traps are going off everywhere. Reset, reset. Ah, uh, I can't reset that one. You bastard. I'll reset the new. He's eating his friend. Yep, yeah, you deserved that, buddy. Now you can look at your friend from just enough, far enough away so you can't eat him. <laughs> At this end. So that's the first one to go off this end. These ones have been going off really nearly. I need more sticks. Wally nolly. So I'll put some more in here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you get angry. Just don't jump over the wall. You can shoot these guys, but I think the angle that I'm actually on at the moment, I can't get a decent shot on him, and my arrows are actually hitting the wall. I reset the trap and he's, he's up again. So I set one loose, one got out of that by himself. Yeah, so they're not going off, but I'm getting attacked more, I think, from this end anyway, so that's why he 
seeing these ones go up more. It's time to go up the rope. I want to get a top-down view of where they're attacking from. If they continue to come, ooh, and that there are some mutants on the way. Here we go. We got an armsy, two armsy, mm -hmm. and their blue one. He was walking straight into that trap, I probably shouldn't have shot him. Because now he's come straight for the gate. See now that there shows intelligence. They have run around all my traps to get into my gate. So they know where the gate is. The cannibals, they just try and they run around and run into Okay, there we go. Cameron is off. The Cameron just died. I don't know what killed the Cameron exactly, but he did run over two traps. Maybe it was a delayed death. One of those overacting kind of deals. That dude just died already. String it out. Five minutes. Another Shakespeare play. Oh. Trying to get down and fix this gate. Don't break through. I'm trying to jump over. Reset the traps again. Don't want to let him in. I'll go out this way. Cool. Safe. I'll run around. That's been pretty cool. There's a lot of cannibals in here. I don't know if I'm some sticks. Reset the traps. And... Oh, I just walked in my own trap. And hey, there you go. I've got to try and get some more sticks. Oops, wrong button. Okay, reset this trap. And try and throw some spears at these guys. Try and get these guys away from my gate. So I've got to reset the traps. Hopefully draw them out. Get that guy skin while I can. Set that trap as well. I don't seem to be attacking the wall, they're just walking into it. So let's get them away. Come on. Go in the trap. Oh, oh, oh. Too close. Come on, come on. You can hit him in the back. Woo! I'm gonna do a little dance. Fly in the air. Come on. Now he's hitting the wall. I'm on the outside, dude. I'm behind it. Come on. There we go. Nice. Finally. The trap got him. Now he did walk backwards into it, but that's fine. This guy's still in the noose trap, so yeah, you can shoot them. And then they're dead when you reset it. Great. Put that bird, but no. Need some more sticks. Anyway, I think that was a pretty good test. We got the guys coming in, they didn't really destroy any of my traps. Put the pile here. I won't count how many there are, but that was quite a few cannibal, three mutants. Uh, the artifact was used in that occasion. 
I got what's that? Six dead pole traps, one noose trap, and four happy birthday traps. So I think the happy birthday trap killed the cow man and eventually killed one of the RMD. Um these dead pole traps absolutely cleaned up in the way of cannibals. And Huge pile of them here. Like I said, I wasn't counting, so I don't know how many there are. If somebody was counting, and I might want to leave that in the, in the comments. This is only from one end as well. I don't think the other end was as busy. But I think it was a pretty good test for the deadfall traps and the combination with the defensive spikes. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. The happy birthday traps are a bit vulnerable. They sort of, sometimes the cannibals and mutants get over them, but um, I don't know. So I do like the deadfall traps, as you can see here, bang. And it was good testing out the defenses that are in the game. And the artifact, so if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe and you can follow along and try to make more like this set up some different defenses with different traps thanks a lot see you later